Spot on, Jonathan Hunt. Thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. For more on this, let's bring in Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator Paul, welcome, sir. You know, you heard Jonathan Hunt, and you may have heard it. I mean, you've got people crossing the border now that are not being deported, even though this 2,500 person thing has been violated. And, Senator Paul, you know what the other thing is? A lot of people are saying all this is going to do, they're just trying to channel it, channel the illegals into the various ports of entry, you know, in, in Texas, uh, Nogales, Arizona, San Diego, El Paso, Eagle Pass. That's all they're really trying to do. There's no significant change here. What are you thinking, Senator Paul? I think what Biden has put forward is a complete farce. The Democrats believe in open borders. They've said it. They've explicitly said the birth rate is going down in America. We need to bring in more people who will vote Democrat. And that's why we're bringing in the illegals, whether they come from the Middle East, whether they're terrorists, whether they've come from a prison, they frankly don't care. We need to put Biden's action in perspective. Biden came into office and repealed 94 executive orders of Donald Trump that were controlling the border. They did not want to control the border, and that's why they repealed these executive orders. Now he's come forward with an executive order, which you're right, 2,500 a day, that's over 900,000 illegal migrants will be allowed in each year. But then they let the cat out of the bag because they say, you know what, after 2,500 a day, we will start caring. And absolutely, we have the authority to deport people after 2,500. But that also means they have the authority to do it at the first migrant that comes across. The numbers should be zero. Mm -hmm. We've let millions of people come in that we should start with the first one tomorrow. And they should all be deported if they're not coming in legally. We allow a million people to come in legally. So we have a legal, we have a million legally. This is several million illegally. That should be completely stopped. And Biden's just not serious about it. And you know, there's no mention here ever by the administration of deporting criminals. I don't just mean, I know it's criminal to come across illegally, but as you probably know, in the Immigration Act, Nationality Act, Section 287G, the border officials, the border authorities can work with local police and local authorities to find and root out and then deport the criminals. You know, like this crazy criminal here in New York City who shot two cops just a few days ago. No one ever talks about deporting criminals. Law and order issue. I mean, this nothing. The Bidens don't even deal with that. I don't understand how that's possible. I don't care what your politics are, liberal, conservative, Republican, Democrat, independent. I think everybody who's got a daughter ought to be horrified by Lake and Riley's murder mm. from a guy who came here and committed repeated crimes, but he was released into the country. He was paroled into the country because the camps were full, full of the other millions of people that should have been deported, filling up these camps. Let's empty the camps back in Mexico. We can't have people coming all the way across the ocean from China and Turkey and Egypt and all these places who we have no idea who these people are. So I'm actually pro-immigration. I'm for lawful, legal immigration. Many of my friends are first generation, and I'm a Republican who likes immigrants, who likes people, and think they add diversity to our country. But I'm for zero illegal immigration, yes. zero migrants. If you want to come here, apply and come lawfully or be sent home. Well, I agree with you, sir. I mean, I want to fix the legal immigration system. I mean, that was an initiative during the last part of the Trump years, never got through. You know, Senator Paul, one guy who's tough on the border is Donald Trump. He's ready to come in and uh, close the border, go after the criminals, uh, move back towards deportation and so forth and so on. And I'm surprised you haven't yet endorsed President Trump in this reelection <laughs> campaign. So I was, kind of, I was kind of waiting for the Rand Paul endorsement. Um. You may still see it. We'll see. I've told the campaign I'm open to endorsing, but I want to hear more. What I want to hear from Donald Trump is, one, that the $8 billion that was barred in his first administration isn't going to happen again. I want to hear that there's not going to be any more lockdowns. I want to hear that Anthony Fauci was a mistake and should have been fired. 
And I want a steadfast, ironclad promise that if Trump is elected, he will open all of the spigots of, of federal records on COVID and let me thoroughly investigate NIH for the malfeasance and the cover-up that happened, and that heads will roll at HHS, NIH, and any place else that tried to cover up that COVID came from a lab in Wuhan. If that happens, you still may see an endorsement. I'm just not quite there yet. Well, I, you know, I'm not an official spokesperson, but I can tell you from my experiences, <laughs> I, I happen to know him rather well. He agrees with everything you just said. Everything you just said. And he wants to but cut I, taxes. And he wants to right. curb spending. And he wants to direct. I mean, how can you not have a Rand Paul endorsement? <laughs> he's the Trump's Trump's well, the, he's exactly yeah. what you're asking for. <laughs> there, there is a possibility. But I will tell you this, Larry. There are people who will vote for an independent candidate. There are people who are worried that the response to COVID was tepid that there was an embracement of lockdowns, there was an embracement of closing the schools, and that there are people who want to hear more. It's not just me. And so me endorsing the president doesn't bring all those people along. They need to hear that people like Anthony Fauci were a disgrace to the country and ought to be prosecuted, that David Morenz, his 20-year assistant, who was deleting emails and getting rid of uh, evidence, will be prosecuted, right. and that it will be all the way. And I think when people hear that, there's several percentage points more of the libertarian-minded among us that could come to Trump, but he has to work harder at getting that vote, including mine. I'll pass that along. <laughs> I'll pass that along. <laughs> Senator Rand Paul, thank you, sir.